in our case type, okay, we have the Tata model here. We have our attributes for this auto loan case type, customer name, loan amount, etc. So here we have uh, the option to modify the form as you enter data. And we are going to use here the form builder. The MDM for builder is the latest generation and that allows you the abstraction of multi-tier data model as well as forms and search pages to accompany each one. The MDM for Builder is a tool to customize the forms used in DCM. It recognizes the attributes inserted in the previous steps and automatically create them as fields in the form. So let's see how this uh, form was created. See, here we have the auto loan info and the attributes, customer name, loan amount, employer, etc. At the left side, you can see here the case attributes and the business object attributes. All these that are in gray means that are added to the form. So you can add this one that are not in gray. And you can add other fields, for example, that are more complex like this address field. So let's make some changes here on this form. The first one is to change, for example, the title. Uh -huh. So let's hide this section and open a little bit more this. So here, you select the object. Okay, you see the blue line here. So this is the properties of this. So let's change to auto loan application, not info. And the alignment, let's say this will be center. And let's, for example, uh, change the background color. Okay, uh, let's move here. We, you can change the width and other things. So in the theme, okay, here we are going to select any color, let's say uh, blue, see? So that's uh, the first change we are going to do. I'm going to save it. And here also you have the options to preview okay, your form. And see the background is blue and we change to auto loan application. This is also collapsible. And here in display context, we have three options. This is how you are going to see this form when you are creating a new case type, updating, or just showing detail. Okay. So let's hide the FICO field, for example, when you are creating the case. The FICO will be uh, populated after the creation of this case. So if you go down, you have here options use on create. Let me zoom in a bit. Here you have option on use on create, use on update, or use on detail. So I'm going to unselect on create, save, preview, see. On create, it's not showing the FICO score, but on update, I can insert the FICO score. Okay. Let's go and add some other more, let's say, complex configurations in the credit score, for example. Credit score, let's, I'm going to reduce the size of this. Okay. So I'm going to add, for example, a uh, a tool bit, let's say uh, input here. Score, okay. Allow blank, let's say I'm not going to allow blank. If I select here, you see now I have this star asterisk red here indicating that this is 
this is a mandatory uh, field and let's change also the max width let's say we are going to change it to 350 pixels see it's shorter now the same i'm going to do next for the file another setting that we can add here is that we can select the max and minimum value right let's say the minimum value of the trade score is 100 and the maximum is 900 okay let's save it and run the preview to see how it's see trade score if i put 50 it's going to mark not valid value okay if i put uh, let's say 950 it's also going to select that it's not a valid number let's say put this one okay update dj right let's do the same for the fico so um, the fico can be blank because it's going to be added after that let's add a tooltip updated file and the max width 350 and also the max value is 900 and the minimum value will be 100 save it preview okay let's say sorry update the same if i put 950 it's wrong if i put 98 it's wrong okay that's it you save your changes right that's it i hope you enjoy this video on how to edit a form using mdm for builder see you in the next one